Hey everyone, it's Pastor Stephen here from Regeneration Church Monash and welcome to 3 Minute Book Reviews. Evangelism is hard and it's becoming increasingly hard somewhere like Australia, which is becoming increasingly um, secular and hostile towards the gospel. I once heard someone say, um, the amount of effort it takes to reach one white Aussie is the same as it takes to reach 10 uh, Chinese. And I think it's true that um, Chinese are more open to the gospel than Australians at this point of history. But at the same time, I do believe that the gospel is the power of God for salvation for anyone who would believe. But today, I want to share with you my favorite book on evangelism at the moment. And it's this, uh, Evangelism in a Skeptical World by Sam Chan. I'm going to tell you three reasons why I think uh, this is uh, an excellent book. Now, the first is gospel metaphors. The Bible contains a rich variety of gospel metaphors. Um, For sin, for example, we see idolatry, rebellion, transgression, um, and self-righteousness. In in terms of salvation, we see uh, redemption reconciliation, justification, uh, regeneration, and others. And I think depending on what church background you have, you're predisposed to a particular set of gospel metaphors while neglecting others. Now, secondly, the book shows us the importance of culture and contextualization. In in this book, Sam critiques three um, common Um, gospel presentations. You've got Two Ways to Live by Sydney Anglicans, you've got um, uh, Four Spiritual Laws by Campus Crusade, and Bridge to Life by The Navigators. And he shows us how each of these presentations focus on certain uh, gospel metaphors while also neglecting others and the pros and cons of that. And then he shows us how by analyzing culture and contextualization, we can choose um, the appropriate metaphors for the people that we're trying to reach. And he looks at some neglected ones and the role they can play in connecting with a post-modern audience. And thirdly, uh, he shows us the power of story in three ways. First is to listen to the stories of our non-Christian friends. If we have taken the time to listen to the story of uh, our non-Christian friend, they'll be much more like to listen to what we then have to say. Now, secondly, is the power of our own stories. This is what we might call sharing our testimony. Um, Oftentimes, uh, people might say, might reject a set of uh, doctrinal truths that we might share, but they can't tell you that your story is wrong because that's your story. It happened to you. And uh, thirdly, is stories of Jesus or the stories of the Bible. Well, people might reject um, um, a set of propositional truths like four spiritual laws, and especially if we want them to respond um, immediately. People might be more open if we just share with them a story of Jesus and, and try to interest them in listening to another story in future. So there you have it. Three reasons. If you want to improve your evangelism, um, evangelism in a skeptical world. <laughs>